we have to sit. Okay. There's there's seats. <laughs> you may. You don't have to. I'm driver of the computer. Yeah. That's Kevin's dad. Kevin's dad. And yeah. Mike. Mike. Yes. And I'm Robin, I'm, Kevin's mom. Are you taking pictures? I'm doing video. Video? Yeah. You're going to video the whole thing? Yeah. God, I hope I look good. You do. Well, you do. You, you do. look good. I hope good. I look yeah. good. Is everybody ready here? I need to turn that music louder. I apologize. Here's what I did. Mom, you're talking about them. The mare and my panda. Yeah, looks like our house. Oh. <laughs> I need to lock the front door. People have a tendency to walk in on their own. Can you imagine? We tried that earlier in the door. Right locked, in the so. middle of the weddings. What if someone objects? And they were just trying to. No object. chance. <laughs> Not here. You okay. will see there's no chance given All right. to object. Look good. We don't want to. We're not going to. No. We are gathered now in the sight of God and in the uh, presence of these witnesses to join this man and this woman in marriage. It was almost 2,000 years ago the Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the Christians in Corinth about a topic that's as important right now as it was 2,000 years ago. And this is what Paul wrote. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant. Love does not act unkindly. It does not seek its own way. Love is not provoked. Love does not take into account a wrong suffered. Love does not rejoice with evil, but always with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. And so of faith, hope, and love, the greatest of these is love. Now, I will ask each of you these questions. First, Kevin, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish Madison all the days of your life from this day forward? Do you promise to be a good and faithful husband, to protect her and provide for her in all ways and to put her needs above your own? If so, look at her and say, I do. I do. And Madison, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish Kevin all the days of your life from this day forward? Do you promise to be a good and faithful wife, to care for him and cherish him in all ways, and to put his needs above your own? If you do, look at him and say, I do. I do. Thank you. Now we come to your wedding vows, which you will speak to each other today, which you will live out and renew every day of your married life together. So, Kevin, you can speak to her, but please repeat after me. All right. I, Kevin, take you, Madison. I, Kevin, take you, Madison. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. To this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Thank you. And Madison. Will you please repeat after me? I, Madison, take you, Kevin. I, Madison, take you, Kevin. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To, to have, have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. 
or shaking all over. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Thank you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who sanctions marriage, give your blessing now to what we have done here. Make this moment fruitful to this couple in terms of added devotion, new inner strength, and of a new sense of the sacredness of life. Make them quick to forgive, quick to laugh, quick to see the worth of each other. And let them, in the measure of time that is theirs, find much joy in their life together. We ask this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 By the authority vested in me by the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kevin, I have good news. You may kiss your bride. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way, and you can take more pictures. Kevin, Karen, Maddie to the car in Nashville. Their wedding day. The door is locked. You have to go.